Hello, this is Billy Core from Carolina Circle City. It's um, Monday afternoon, September 12th, 2011, and today is a very special day. Today is conduct random, random tomfoolery on the Packard Bell Legend 402 CD. <laughs> By that, I don't mean I'm not going to beat it up or anything. I'm just going to do a few little bit of little bit of experimenting with it today, starting with little idea I had a few months ago that I'm just now getting around to. Remember 16 years ago when Windows 95 first came out and um, everyone was upgrading from Windows 3.1 to Windows 95? Well, today I'm going to do just that with this computer. It's currently running Windows 3.1 and I happen to have this um, official upgrade CD for Windows 95 that I bought off eBay back in 2007 and um, it was just a CD, no box or anything but um, we're gonna go ahead and fire this Packard Bell up and let's and we're gonna install Windows 95 the old-fashioned way Alright, um, let's see here, this is, by the way, Windows 95 RTM, uh, let's, whoop, let's see if I can do this with one hand, I guess I can't, <laughs> alright, should be okay, yep, this is what an official Windows 95 upgrade CD looks like. Very stylish. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and pop this in here. Uh, let's see here. Now let's go to run CD slash setup. Here we go. Welcome to Windows 95 Setup. Like I said, this is how most people got Windows 95 16 years ago. Just by simply upgrading their existing Windows 3.1 computer. Let's see, it's... No telling how long this may take. All right, and here's the license agreement. Whoa. I strongly recommend you put all windows. Uh, who cares? All right. Yes, yeah, so I'll install it into the Windows directory.
uh, save system files uh, in case I want to uninstall Windows 95 well right after this I'll be reformatting anyway so we can just save time by telling it no uh, let's see I'll just go with typical uh, I'll just type in Billy Clark Okay, product key, that's right there, I don't have a network adapter in this computer, okay this is the long part here. Really, in, in my opinion, um, whether your computer's an old Packard, Packard Bell or a new custom-built Windows 7 computer right there, best way to install Windows is always to just, just do a clean install. You'll save you a lot of time and trouble from any weird side effects you may have upgrading. What I'm doing right here is just an experiment. So, um, I don't recommend this really. Hard drive clicking away. For some reason, whenever it gets to 96%, it stops for a minute. And keeps it'll keep going eventually. And just for comic relief while it's doing this, uh, that's me, Christmas Day of 1991. Yeah, I know, I'm cute, aren't I? Yeah. Is at ninety eight percent. Okay, finally. <laughs> that it won't do much good for me in 2011 uh, I'll just choose a list of components don't need accessibility uh, go ahead and take all the accessories who is it uh, communications don't need that don't need disk tools I'll take all the multimedia you guys <laughs> I don't need a startup disk already got one okay now here's the fun part I've always like that little drum right there All right.
right, it's copying the files now. And we and while it's doing this, we will pause for station identification and we'll be right back after this. Okay, just finished installing the files and it's now ready to restart the computer. Uh, let's see here. Click finish. Starting Windows 95. I love that screen, by the way. Getting ready to run Windows 95 for the first time. Ooh. A lot of action going on on that hard drive right now. <laughs> Oof. By the way, that the answers to your questions. Oh, you may now s safely shut down your Packard Bell computer to return to Navigator. Type win. That must be a, a little glitch in the system there from Windows 3.1 upgrading. This old late 90s Dell monitor has a good picture on it, doesn't it? Bought it back in April, I believe, of 2005 at the flea market for $40. I bought it because, the, like I said in a previous video, when I first bought that Packard Bell Legend 1510 Supreme um, monitor that came with it, UPS screwed up and pretty much destroyed it, so... I had to buy a new monitor for it, and this was the one I picked out. Whoa. Alright. Like I said, this is only temporary. I'll be putting it back to Windows 3.1 shortly. Let's see, Windows 95 includes a new feature called the Start Menu. New. <laughs> the Start Menu will be easier for you to, to, to use if you reduce the number of program groups you currently have. For more information, see Help After Setup is Complete. Set the time zone. Um, nope, I don't live in the Pacific time zone or anywhere near it, so I'm gonna go with the Eastern time zone. Alright, we're good to go now.
remember people having a lot of problems um, upgrading to Windows 95 back in the day which is why I said earlier it's always best to do an, a complete install instead of an upgrade And here we are. Windows 95 is fully installed. Uh, I think that has something to do with the Norton desktop I had on here, which doesn't work on Windows 95. Let's see, and all the old program groups converted successfully. Still got some of the old Windows 3.1 applications that didn't come with Windows 95, um, including a card file. <laughs> uh, what else? Let's see, I already got all my old software on here. Yeah, Humongous Entertainment, but of course um, on Windows 95 you don't have to install any of these games. It runs right from the disk. Yeah, everything's good to go now. However, we're not done yet. Hold on just one second. We now have to upgrade some of the Packard Bell software, especially Navigator, to its Windows 95 versions. Um, I bought this CD off eBay last December. Never really used it yet because I haven't had a need to. But this is a Packard Bell software upgrade CD for Microsoft Windows 95. And, uh,. This will do things such as upgrade Navigator from 3.0 to 3.5. And let's see if we can do that right now. And just put this to the side. Like I said, this doesn't include the Windows 95 setup on here. You have to use your own CD for that. But this will, like I said, upgrade some of the components. Packard Bell Upgrade CD. We'll do custom. Okay, media controller, fax works. I don't need that. And fast media and TV card. I don't have one of those. No FM radio. And definitely we need Packard Bell Navigator. So here we go. Okay, this is the media controller setup. Alright, now it's going to install media controller. Now the fast media setup. These CDs, by the way, are very rare. So if you ever find one, in fact, I think there's one on eBay right now as we speak, you might want to get one and try it out on your Packard Bell. Okay, Packard Bell Navigator requires video for Windows, yes. Ah, these are the good old days of computers. Back when everything was fresh and new. Uh, no, we start now. Okay, I need to install QuickTime 2.01. Hard to believe this little program eventually spread out and expanded into iTunes and 
quick time. If it wasn't for this, but if it wasn't for this little program, we might not have had these. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done that to my iPod, but <laughs> okay, we'll click continue on here. Okay, it's going to remove some old stuff. Yeah, go ahead. Now it's getting kind of dry. Copying the files. All right, installation was successful. Now we're going to install Navigator. Welcome to the Navigator CD upgrade for Windows 95. Previous Navigator directory still exists. Do you wish to delete the old Navigator? Sure, why not? Whoa, why did that come back up? I have to alt tab it. It's copying the navigator files. Tell you what, let's, let's just pause the video right now. This might take a while. Alright, it says you must restart Windows for navigator to function properly. Do you wish to restart Windows? Yes. Everything's ready to go now uh, or not oh yes remember the good old days when windows would perform illegal operations oh boy and then again my then again you know <laughs> Don't tell the FBI. <laughs> uh, cancel. Okay. Like fast media isn't wanting to work. Okay. Okay, Navigator 3.0 probably should now be Navigator 3.5. Welcome from Packard Bell. We and it is Welcome to Navigator's living room. You can tell the difference between Navigator 3.0 and 3.5 from this part right here. In the first little part, when that little dialog box comes up, that's a TV, and when you click it, the TV will be replaced by this picture. But on 3.5, it just it's the picture all the time. I need a break. I'm getting too tongue-tied. But that'll do it for now. But actually, let's try one more thing. I got Windows 7 here. 
I want to see what happens when I try to upgrade Windows 95 to Windows 7. I got the CD right here. Let's see what happens. Uh, that's actually a DVD, but who cares? 